I'll get straight to it, because this is urgent. Over the past year, I've then been flooded with literally thousands of questions from gardeners, begging to know whether honey or molasses is the better soil booster for winter prep. And today, on Soil and Crop Central, I'm exposing the shocking truth. One of these sweet additives can ignite a microbial explosion that rebuilds dead soil in just 72 hours, while the other can kill your garden overnight. No fluff, no hesitation. Let's get right into the real science, the side-by-side -side experiment, and the exact dilution ratios you must use, you must use if you want thriving soil by spring. Gardeners often hear that soil life needs carbon in winter, so adding sugars supposedly feeds the microbes. That idea is true, but only when you choose the right type of sugar. Honey and molasses behave nothing alike once they hit the soil. Honey is mostly simple sugars and comes packed with natural antibacterial compounds. Molasses, on the other hand, contains complex sugars, trace minerals, and acts more like a long-burn fuel source that keeps microbes active without overwhelming the soil ecosystem. Yet because both are sticky, brownish sweeteners, they get lumped together in gardening conversations. This confusion is what inspired the controlled test I ran identical conditions, identical doses. One shocking result. To make the comparison fair, I took two containers of dead sterilized soil and hydrated each with the same mixture. One tablespoon of honey dissolved into one liter of water for the first sample and one tablespoon of molasses dissolved into one liter of water for the second. I kept both containers at the same temperature, the same moisture level, and the same amount of air exposure. No added compost, no fertilizers, just the sugars and the soil. I then monitored each for 72 hours, watching for heat changes, fungal and bacterial shifts, and signs of anaerobic collapse. Within 12 hours, the honey sample began heating rapidly. This is a sign that bacteria are blooming too fast and burning through oxygen. By the 24-hour mark, a sour fermenting smell developed, indicating anaerobic bacteria had taken over. By 48 hours, the honey soil surface looked glossy and wet, the classic shine of oxygen-starved decomposition. And by 72 hours, the soil structure itself was slumping, turning from crumbly particles into a sticky, compact mass that would suffocate plant roots if used directly in the garden. The molasses sample took a completely different trajectory. The soil warmed gently, never spiking. By the second day, fine threads of fungal hyphae were visible just under the surface. The smell was earthy, clean, and slightly sweet, exactly what healthy soil should smell like. By the end of 72 hours, the texture was airy, almost sponge-like and full of early microbial life. The difference wasn't subtle. It was dramatic. Based on the evidence, honey was the clear and shocking loser. The same antibacterial properties that make honey excellent for human wound care still function in soil, suppressing beneficial soil bacteria right when they're needed most. And the burst of simple sugar causes what gardeners call the oxygen crash. Microbes multiply too fast, burn through oxygen, and flip the soil anaerobic. Anaerobic soil isn't just unproductive, it's harmful. It destroys fungal structure, invites root rotting organisms, and leaves the soil in worse shape than before. Molasses, however, supported a balanced microbial expansion. Its slower, mineral rich composition feeds both bacteria and fungi without overwhelming the system. If winter soil prep is your goal, and for most gardeners, it is molasses is the undisputed champion. Now, if you're preparing soil during the winter off-season, you must use the right dilution, or you'll risk the same oxygen crash that honey caused. The ideal ratio for molasses is one tablespoon of molasses mixed into one gallon of water. This creates a balanced, microbe-friendly solution that fuels the soil without creating an anaerobic environment. Heavier clay soil can handle a slightly richer mix because microbes work slower in dense clay. In that case, two tablespoons of molasses dissolved into one gallon of water is effective.
but only once per month. Sandy soil burns through carbon quickly, so one tablespoon per gallon every two weeks maintains healthy soil biology. For raised beds, which are already highly aerated, half a tablespoon per gallon is more than enough. Applying the mixture is simple, but timing and coverage matter. First, calculate the amount of solution you need. Ten square feet of garden soil require one gallon of molasses solution. Fifty square feet require five gallons, and one hundred square feet require ten gallons. Once you've determined your quantity, slightly warm the water so the molasses dissolves easily, then stir until the mixture is completely uniform. Pour the solution slowly and evenly over the soil surface. Avoid dumping it all in one spot, because concentrated sugar solutions can still create micro pockets of anaerobic activity. Once applied, lightly rake the soil to help the liquid move a few inches down. Finally, cover the soil with one or two inches of mulch. This protects the microbial processes from freezing temperatures and helps maintain an active microclimate beneath the surface. Apply the molasses mix once at the start of winter dormancy, once at midwinter, and once in early spring. This schedule ensures microbes remain active without overstimulation. One of the biggest mistakes gardeners make is assuming that if a little molasses is good, a lot must be better. This is not true. Over-applying molasses, even though it's the safer option, can still overwhelm soil biology and trigger anaerobic conditions. Stick to the proper ratios. Another mistake is continuing to use honey because it feels more natural or pure. Natural does not mean beneficial in this case. Honey's antibacterial strength is exactly why it destroys soil structure under winter conditions. And finally, never apply these sweet solutions when your soil is waterlogged. Saturated soil already lacks oxygen, and any sugar solution will accelerate the collapse. So the sweet battle is over, and the results are undeniable. In the honey versus molasses microbe war, honey crashes soil life fast while molasses revives and rebuilds it. Your winter soil preparation depends on choosing the right fuel source, using the correct dilution, and applying it at the right intervals. When done correctly, molasses can transform dead winter soil into a thriving, living foundation ready for spring planting. If you found this Soil and Crop Central breakdown valuable, don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and help other gardeners avoid the mistakes that destroy winter soil overnight.